And I'd like to ask uh, Manish Tiwari first. You know, you had these suspensions that took place yesterday, uh, some damage control, obviously. Do you think it's helped? Do you think it's assuaged public opinion, which seems to be really horrified at one thing after another that seems to be coming out? See, Didi, let me uh, deal with this issue squarely. There are two sets of allegations. The first set of allegations flow out of some o preliminary observation observations which were made by the office of the technical examiner in the Central Vigilance uh, Commission and which incidentally was made a year back. And those set of observations grow, go across the seven agencies or eight agencies which are involved in infrastructure creation for the Commonwealth Games. But they are in the nature of preliminary concerns which are allowed to be rebutted by the concerned agency before the Central Vigilance Commission comes to its final findings. So therefore, that is insofar as that set of observations slash allegations, whatever you would like to call them, stand. The second set is the ones which have emanated out of uh, ostensible media exposing. The question simply is that if at all there has been any act of indiscretion, misdemeanor, corruption, those people who are responsible should definitely answer for that. But at this point in time, when we are 59 days from the game, concurrently we have to make an effort that the show must go on. Because you have these set of allegations, those allegations have emerged in the public space. Whether they are correct or not is something which only an investigation and a judicial finding will determine. And we are absolutely for that determination and adjudication so that the truth must emerge. But concurrently, you've taken an international obligation. And this was not an obligation taken by the UPA government, yeah. taken I, by I the India government. I don't think anyone expects the games yeah. to be called off. But my question is no, that no. should Mr. Kalmadi take moral responsibility or not? Today, he's saying, I'll only step down if the PM asks me well, to. Or would I, that be a disaster? Because the games are just a couple of months away. Well, I don't think it's fair for me to answer that question because insofar as morality is concerned, since you've uh, phrased the question in those terms, I think possibly Mr. Suresh Kalmadi would be the best person to answer it. However, let me just underscore and reiterate that if at all there is any truth to any of the allegations which have been made, those people who are responsible must be held accountable and the process of justice must bring them to account. Swapan? Well, since the Prime Minister has chosen to remain completely silent on it, I think it would be fitting if his first major intervention is to call for Mr. Kalmadi's resignation. Maybe he will oblige, as he said he would. You see, it's not a question of someone acting as a party pooper. The point is that this party has already got sad. When a, when a project of the magnitude of 20 to 30,000 crores is there, it's inevitable there will be charges of, you know, kitchen mitchin charges of corruption. The difference here is why had these charges made such a deep impact and undermined total national confidence in the games? That's because people around, see what's happening in Delhi. They see the mess. In their own personal experiences, they've witnessed all these, uh, you know, very silly decisions which have been taking place. And on top of that, when these come, then that obviously strikes a chord. Because when you have completely decent pavements being uprooted, something else being put in, and 10 days later, that also being uprooted because a pipe was forgotten, you know there's something but, wrong. But where, now translate that into a larger but, sphere. And then you know... if Kalmadi then, goes? Because after all, I mean, he is... I mean, as he put it, the games are my baby. Would it be a mistake to take action against him now or ask him to step down now? I, I thought we were talking about national pride and now we are told that it's Mr. Kalmadi's baby. I mean, let's decide once and for all. It's like I mean, if it's Mr. Kalmadi's baby, Mr. Kalmadi has every right to nurture that baby. It's, it's like but let it not be at the taxpayer's expense.